Well, we are back. Back up here in Denton. And uh, I, I'd say it's about 9.30. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty much soaked up to, uh, up to my knees. I got my, got my tent up. <clears throat> my tent broke in the wind and uh, taped, it, taped it all back together. Um, today we're going to be doing a mid-span on a 96 and we're going to be putting a uh, uh, 96 lateral and a 24 lateral off of this. Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to be doing the Comscope B case today. Um, and i got to get all that fit in this box. So let's go ahead. I guess we'll get started. All right. It has uh, stopped raining. Um, not going to lie. It took me exactly one hour to mid-span this cable. Uh, I, I have not figured out a, a, a trick. The problem you'll see is the plastic well not right this not at that point but basically the plastic and the metal are melted together there we go now it's getting melted isn't that crazy you know when you do the the butt end uh flat it just pops right off um kind of see what we're doing here basically i've mid-spanned the green uh tube and uh we're gonna go ahead this is my lateral uh, off of this cable that's going behind me, and then the actual cable is going to, uh, to the left of me here. Um, this 24 count uh, runs the alley um, behind me. So what I think we're going to try to do here is something a little bit new. Um, I'm actually going to put a. Th I have one 32A splitter, and uh, we bought it when we first started the company because um, we didn't really know what to do. And I think I'm actually going to use it here. I think I'm going to bring a pawn uh, into this um, case. Then um, we're going to splice, we're going to put the splitter in this. <clears throat> That's going to leave me the ability to splice all these if I ever wanted to. Then I'm going to bring all my 32 uh, splits up this um, conduit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, to my next tray and then I'm going to put my 12 um, drop that goes down the alley on that so that'll give me the ability um, to basically put uh, 24 uh, splices onto this cable uh, if I ever actually needed to uh, but it'll also allow me the next tray uh, here I only have an 8 That's really cool husky I like your dog <laughs> good man it's a cool dog <laughs> and uh the um i only have eight trays but in all seriousness there's really not a whole lot different they can still accommodate 24 they should not have an uh, it's ample space um so we're gonna go ahead and uh wrap this up i'm gonna throw this guy on uh and what i'm trying to do is i've got this box uh i've got one two three four five boxes and I'm pretty much our cases I'm trying to prep them all and then that way uh, hopefully Thursday and Friday I can be splicing only splicing tomorrow I'll probably start start splicing but there's one two three four five there's five fosks to splice in then I can actually splice the customer's house so it's just a it's just a big Big project for one one customer, but they've been waiting a long time. So, uh, yeah, just kind of show you what all goes into this. Um, I've probably about, if it wasn't for that, I'm probably sitting right now at about four hours uh, to do this, which is unex. I mean, it's just pretty crazy. But it's been it's been raining, it's been wind. Um, if I was in a controlled environment and that cable was a different cable. I think I could do this in about an hour and a half tops. So, um, but yeah, I am not wet anymore, but I am certainly cold. But all right, cool. Well, I'm gonna wrap this up. All right. Uh, 
So, packing down my base camp uh, here, and uh, got that cable. There's four 396 count cables and a 24. So, getting that all wound in there was was a little tricky. But I don't think that we could actually. It, in the current setup, we could not add a flat drop adapter here. So, pretty much if a customer needs to get served out of here, we'll use, um, we'll have to upgrade this box. But, it's whatever. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much, that's a government thing, and they weren't interested, so that looks abandoned, so that looks burnt down over there, I think. Um, so I don't think it'll ever, I think we'll build out of here, but I don't think we'll serve a customer out of here. But, uh, all right, I am really looking forward to the heated seats in the car. Uh, until uh, tomorrow, I guess.